Dear parishioners, this is my message for March 17 weekend. Happy Feast of St. Joseph and St. Patrick. It's been quite a week here where I live, up in the Sudbury Diocese. Now, the bishop <clears throat> of the diocese, her name is Tom Dowd, has uh, had the Christmas this week. It was really a lovely experience. He decided to have the Christmas in a tiny church called Holy Cross, which is in Wikwimikong. It's the only unceded land, um, in, unceded by the indigenous people to the whites. Uh, it's on Manitoulin Island, and it's the first place where the first bishop came in the area of northern Ontario. And um, it was really a lovely experience. You know, all the priests came from all around the diocese, which is a huge diocese, and gathered together for two days. First day was fellowship and friendship and conversation and the meal together and uh, uh, discussion and so on. And the second day was the Christmas Mass, and each parish had uh, one representative from their parish to join it because Holy Cross Church is really very tiny, you know. But uh, on the Day of the Christmas Mass in the morning, there was a, a lovely presentation from the indigenous of their dancing styles, the grass dance, the healing dance, and so on. I put some of it on Facebook, on my Facebook page, for those who've seen it, you know. Um, and then they got everybody involved in dancing. And the, uh, the very first person to get up and dance, of course, was the bishop. The bishop got up and said, come on, everybody, let's, let's do this. It's very simple dancing. But it was really quite a fun day. So that was the, the Christmas, the beginning of the holy season of, uh, of, the, um, of the Triduum. So it was really a, a lovely time. And um, the indigenous people here are called Anishinaabe. And uh, they would frequently say, Miigwech, Chimigwech. That's the uh, Anishinaabe way of saying uh, thank you, thank you for being present here. And because there are many of this, many of the uh, priests here are from either Africa or from India, uh, for many of them, it was the first time that they ever experienced this. And so there was a real nice of spirit of collaboration and, uh, and fun. Really nice. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm preparing with the teenagers here um, a way of the cross. They've never seen it before, walking in the streets with the cross. They've never seen it. They don't know what it is. Um, Faith education seems to be more limited in some ways here. So we're going to be doing the way of the cross with the teenagers. And as I was mentioning that to the, uh, to the people, the mayor of the, of the little town where I work came up to me and says, you know, it must be very hard for your people to see you go. And I said, yes, of course, it's been very painful to see me removed from the parish. But they say, we are just so grateful because your presence has been a blessing to us. And I was very touched by that. You know, one... One moment of sadness is also a blessing for others. And um, so, funny how God works, eh? Funny how God works. Um, I wanted to, uh, on today, just a little talk. <clears throat> it's, the, um, it's the weekend of really misericordia. Uh, the psalm for today is the miserere, Psalm 51. It's the famous psalm that's, O Lord, have mercy on me. I have sinned in my thoughts. Uh, I've turned away from you, O Lord. Psalm 51 is the psalm for today's, uh, for this weekend's Mass. And it invites all of us, you know, to, to recognize our need for the Lord's uh, mercy. And to look at our own society, look at our, our own teams, look at ourselves. The need to turn constantly to God and say, yes, uh, as Pope Francis said in an interview at the very beginning of his pontificate, um, who, is, uh, who is Bergoglio? And his first response is, well, I'm a sinner. And we all are. We tell lies, we manipulate, we're, we're, we're nasty, we, we all need God's mercy. And so on this weekend, as we prepare for Holy Week, I really hope that um, in our parish that uh, there is an opportunity for reconciliation and we make good use of it, not just for our personal sins, but also for the sins of our society, our culture, you know. As I finish, I'd like to just take a moment to say thanks. Um, next week, I'll be thanking the, uh, the administrative team, but this week, I'd like to thank the pastoral team, you know, for their hard work during my absence. It's been very difficult for you all, and I know that. 
I'm just so grateful. And I'd like to thank all of you parishioners for, for hanging in there and being so courageous. Uh, but I'd like to thank a particular pastoral team. And I don't want to mention all names, but I'd like to mention the most important that I've seen of the individuals who've been just so solid, uh, instruments of peace, instruments of harmony. I'd like to mention three. There's uh, Deacon Francois Gilbert. I'd like to thank you for being such an instrument of peace during this uh, 13 months that I was removed. Um, the other one is Nancy Whiter, just really always level-headed and balanced. And the third one is uh, Mrs. Angel Kuznagin. You know, just always very positive and moving forward. Uh, there are many, many others I could mention, but those are the ones that struck me was that uh, through this time have been real instruments of harmony. So blessing to all the pastoral team. The Lord bless you all. Uh, for those who are wondering when I'll be back again, <clears throat> they did say after Easter, but I have commitments here for a little while yet. Uh, and I also have to visit my mother who's not well. So I will be back at the parish the weekend of April 13 and 14. And I'll be doing all the masses then, you know. So you'll see my face again and um, look forward to seeing everybody and asking the Lord's blessing upon you as we enter into the the last phase, prepare, preparing for the, the for the Easter Triduum. May the Lord bless us and, and sanctify his people. I pray that Our Lady may watch over you and St. Joseph and, of course, St. Patrick this weekend. Bless you all. Thank you for listening, and I express my love to you one more time.